And one of the things that you can do is max out the Book of 1000, which is necessary for not only... If you've been everywhere and fudged around a lot, the 141 to 150 area tends to be post-game stuff, so you may not have many of them, but other than that, it's probably all bosses. And then finally, bike time! Ride your bike around. This one was also relatively easy to max out, probably because I was doing pretty well at the uh, end of the previous game since I taped the acceleration button down on my controller and just drove for a long time. But I think I was also, maybe it was made easier as well, because just by competing in the various bike races and getting all the bike parts, I didn't have too much of a hard time maxing that one out. Now, by maxing all of the things out, by the time you get all of them up to rank 7, all of them up to rank 8, you get to expand the facility and do some interesting things with them. You can see I've done most of them already. Um, platform Transport lets you transport back and forth between various platforms while you're out on the field, which is very nice. Um, platform Heal, which you got all at rank 8, would, um... It would just heal your, a heal your heal you a little bit, and you can only use it once per area. And for maxing all 9 out, you get the Platform Full Heal, heal which is a full heal, though you can only use it once per area and it gets a little costly. However, I've been making like 500 grand every time I went into this dungeon, so it's really not that great. So that was that. Now, of the other things... Where is it? I have all of my skill levels up to level 30, and I'm at level 150. Level 150 is the cap, not going any higher than that. Level 30 is the cap for all the various skills. At this point in the game is when you want to use all of those skill books that you've been saving up through all this time. So yeah, may wanna do that. That got me up to like 28 on all of them, and then grinding this one dungeon for everything else got them up the remaining two levels. Not only do I have the, we have the uh, weapon levels, but all of the lost weapons are now all at level 4, except my own, which is level 5. We'll be getting to getting all of those to 5 in a second. Now, that said, let's see here. I have also maxed out everyone's affection. Now, as far as maxing out everyone's affection goes, this is actually very much so an improvement over the original quadrilogy, in that they gave you the, um barbecue plate keyword. 
Let's see if it's even listed in here. Courageous Moonbeam's Barbecue Plate. Is that the one? Yes, Courageous Moonbeam's Barbecue Plate. Um, if you go here... Standing right in front of you is a god Chim Chim. And I mean right in front of you. Now, the problem with the original quadrilogy that I had was near the end of the game, they gave you like four new guys in their member addresses, and it was almost impossible to max out their affection. Because the easiest way to max out affection was to gift them items, but they're already max level with some pretty darn good gear, so you're not really getting that. And it would take like years to max out their affection going only on, uh, like, time in the party. So, in this game, what they did is they introduced the God Chim Chim, which they give you the barbecue plate keyword after beating the game, go to any of those areas, and the God Chim Chim will be right there. This is a pretty good one I found for maxing this out, so go find him and kick him. He works exactly like the King Chim Chim. Just kick him a few times, and you get like 180 Chim Chims out of him, too. So if you need to max out your Chim Chims, this'll do it. Quite unexpected. In honor of your feet, I grant thee my divine protection. Till we meet again! And then he disappears in a cloud of pork. Barbecue, is that pork or is that cow? I'm ignorant. But, um, in doing that, um... Well, barbecue is more of a cooking style, really, so it doesn't really matter. What, what am I saying? But that will max... or that will, um, add... I guess I should probably go back. But that will add to the party members in your party's uh, affection, and it shouldn't take too terribly long to max everybody out. Now, as far as getting everybody to level 150, getting all of my skills maxed out, getting all of the virus cores to max out everybody's weapons, it takes bloody forever. What I did was I went to Sigma Adoring Blue Silver Kuko. Kaku. Shut up. But um, in going here, this is a four-floor dungeon. It's pretty straightforward. I love this dungeon type. There's nothing to get in the way, so the fights are a lot easier. The, the enemies in this dungeon, a lot of them will heal themselves, so you can farm Rengekis, which means you can farm Affection, which mean or not Affection, which means you can farm, um, 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 Praise thing, which means you can farm Awakenings off of them. So, going through all of that, I blew through this dungeon, and I just played through this dungeon over and over again for, like, 12 hours straight and I eventually maxed everything out. Oh, speaking of which... Um... Oh, for Pete's sake, where is it? Oh, it's actually not on that menu. I'm smart! I've also got the Avatar Awakening to level 10! Getting it to level 10 unlocks Drain Heart, which is a stupid, more powerful version of that. So, that said, that only took me forever and a half to do, but it got everybody up, got everything taken care of, and I got pretty good at farming, I got pretty good at forcing Rengekis off enemies with min doing minimal damage. But that's another story. So, the only real thing left to do here is to go get those lost weapons. So, we want to change servers over to Theta Server. And then we are heading to Hidden Forbidden Sacrament. Now, powering up a lost weapon to level 1 takes 10 virus cores. Level... or is it 2? Level 2 takes 10 virus cores. To level 3 takes 25 virus cores, and to level 4 takes 
50 virus scores, which takes bloody forever. But once you do that and get it up to level 4, the whole thing will turn blue and grant you the ability to level it up to level 5. Which means fighting the Beast of the Seal. Now to do this, you have to have the correct person in your party, which means having Adelie in my party for this one. And these are the same dudes we fought before, only really powerful. Also, I'm like way over level. This is a piece of cake. Now, unlike before, you do not get a special cutscene for these, so I, there's not really all that much for me to show off. Next. Now, I did fight the first phase before the end of the game to get uh, Haseo's scythe, and it was a much more realistic battle. It was actually somewhat challenging right around endgame. But since they give you almost 20 levels to overlevel after you beat the final boss, these fights are kind of a joke. Fighting them when you were supposed to fight them was actually a little, a lot more challenging. Oh, and this is actually the first time we've seen this type. All of these look different, and they somewhat resemble your, uh, the phase with the markings over them and the like. This is the first time we've actually seen Yada since we didn't have his member address in the previous game. We love you too, Sokka. So, to the fifth phase, Grimoire. I like how the enemies can just be staring straight at me and I can still get a surprise attack on them as long as I'm wearing the demon safe shoes. I mentioned this before, but up to rank 4, the lost weapons only increase in damage. Whereas, once they hit rank 5, they actually change into a completely different weapon altogether, with a brand new effect, increased damage, increased ap different appearance, everything. In fact, Haseo's Scythe, once at level 5, actually kind of resembles, um, Scaith's 
final formed hand thing with the little thing in the center. Looks neat. Final phase is pies. Because we can't exactly do ovons. You know what? I'm gonna go into this with this equipment. If anything, it shows how broken the uh, dual guns weapons are because he'd be like easily dead already. And that there is all of the lost weapons maxed out at level 5, which means there's not really all that much for left for us to do in-game. There's a couple things left for us to do on the desktop, though. 